Hi, we're going to do a modification to my double Zeta Gundam. Just something on the knee, something anybody can do with styrene, a saw, some sandpaper, files and cement. Let's begin. This is the uh, double Zeta Gundam, uh, probably seen in the other video. It's pretty much a slaughter dagger with uh, double Zeta bits glued to it. I would like that uh, nice high grade feel to it. And what we're going to be doing is the little knee joints right here. Um, if you can see in this picture, he's got the same thing going. So, let's begin. I've got some styrene, which I'm going to be cutting. Measure for ruler so it's um, the correct size. Five millimeters. We'll use this vise to cut it to the correct uh, size. And this um, saw to saw it. Nice clean cut. Normally, um, the best way to scratch build your kits is uh, using styrene bits from other model kits or using um, styrene which you can buy from companies such as uh, Evergreen in uh, multiple forms of um, rods, beams, pipes, sheets, whatever. It's always um, a little expensive, but it's great to buy a heap of them. I believe uh, Tamiya calls it Pla Plates. Uh, some other companies do them even cheaper. There's uh, one particular mob that even does it in single pieces at $2 each. Uh, that's how I built up my, my um, stock through them. Nice and clean now. Now we're going to use my Dremel to cut a little incision so we can put this little pipe in the middle of it. Just like uh, the effect here. You have to be very careful with uh, these tools, you can actually hurt yourself, this uh, cuts or grinds into flesh. Um, normally you should wear eye protection if you're going to be doing a lot of work. Um, this is just a quick cut so more or less I should be fine. Let's do a quick test. Probably put it to a lower speed setting. And I'll mark roughly where I want my incisions. Uh, if you don't have that this particular saw bit that I'm using, um, you can use a normal grinding stone. It's going to leave a larger hole, so that's going to require more putty. If you don't have one of these, uh, that's the cutting blade bit I'm using. Uh, you could also use something like this. Uh, you can always try hacking it with a saw or your hobby knife. But yeah, use whatever you have. You don't have to go out to buy this just for this, but it normally really, really helps. we have our little incisions. Sorry, other side. Clean them up a bit. Do a test fit with our little piece here. Beautiful. And we'll use a little cement to glue the little guy together.
Uh, I use the um, Tummy Extra Fin and also the Tummy Normal Cement. There's many other brands, many different types of applicators. The only ones I don't recommend using are the ones in the tube. They have a tendency of drying and very difficult to control. My personal favourites are bottled. Some people also use these little syringes. I find they clog quite easily. Uh, I believe the testers ones don't clog too badly. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's in. Because uh, this is just a rod, not a piece of pipe, it's quite safe to cut with side cutters. If it was a uh, pipe, then you're going to crush it and just form the shape. There we go. Uh, we'll come back to this when it's a little more dried and um, sand it down, glue it to the piece and putty it.